Let's compute the limit. The limit is x approaching to 0 plus 1 over x minus 1 over e to the x minus 1. Real quick, plugging 0 into all the x, we are going to get infinity minus infinity. So in this case, we have to do more work for this. And as usual, because we're subtracting two fractions, let's get the common denominators and then put a fraction into just one. And that's equal to a half afterwards. So to get the common denominator here, I will have to multiply by e to the x minus 1 on the bottom and also do the same on the top, e to the x minus 1. And for this part, we will have to multiply by x on the bottom and also multiply that on the top. And this situation now get the limit as x goes to 0 plus and they have x times e to the x minus 1 in the parentheses like this. On the top, I will have e to the x minus 1 minus x. That's what we have. Plugging 0 into all the x, this is going to be 1 minus 1 which is 0 minus 0 which is 0 on the top. Plugging 0 on the bottom, 0 times this, it's going to be 0. 0 over 0, we can use L'Hopital's rule. So in this situation here, we can use L'Hopital's rule. Let me write it down here. This is the 0 over 0. By L'Hopital's rule, we know this is still going to be the limit as x approaching to 0 plus. And for L'Hopital's rule, you look at the numerator and then you differentiate that. This is not a quotient rule. This is L'Hopital's rule. Forget about the bottom. Ask yourself, what's the derivative of e to the x, which will have e to the x? What's the derivative of minus 1, which is 0, doesn't matter. And the derivative of negative x is minus 1. That's what we have on the top. Divided by, we also take the derivative on the bottom. So you can just e dx on the bottom. And however, this part is a product of two functions. We have to use the product rule for this. Real quick, let me do it right here. We will have to do x times the derivative of the second, which is just e to the x. And then we take the second, we add the second, which is e to the x minus 1, times the derivative of the first, times 1. Mm -hmm. This right here goes here. So we are looking at this as x e to the x plus 1 times this parentheses, doesn't matter. So e to the x minus 1, that's what we have. Once again, plugging 0 into all the x, on the top you are going to get 1 right here, e to the 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and then plugging 0 here is 0, e to the 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 over 0 is L'Hopital's rule again. Okay, so 0 over 0, use L'Hopital's rule. This is still going to be the limit as x approaching to 0 plus. On the top, let me differentiate that. I will just have e to the x by itself. On the bottom, we differentiate this part. This part, x times e to the x, needs the product rule. So we'll do that. We write down x times the derivative second, which is e to the x, plus the second, which is e to the x, times the derivative of the first. And that's what we have. The product rule for x times e to the x. However, we still have e to the x right here, so we are going to add e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and that's all we have. And now, plugging 0 into all the x. This time, it's not going to be 0 over 0. They're actually done, but I will show you the work. We're plugging 0 into all the x now. 0 plus and 0 is the same in this situation. Um, plus e to the 0 times 1, which is just e to the 0, plus e to the 0. On the top, e to the 0 is equal to 1. 0 times e to the 0, 0 times 1 is 0, so this is gone. e to the 0 is 1, e to the 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Final answer, the answer to this is 1 half. That's the limit for that.